here we are uh, in the Harkin booth with Ian Murray. Uh, Ian, what can you tell us about some of your uh, favorite uh, Harkin products? Well, you know, look, we grew up with all these bingy fittings and you know, I can remember going to Milwaukee and walking in with a suitcase and loading up with Peter and Olaf and taking it back, you know, and that was in 1978, you know, when fleets, they were just like this then and 009 blocks and the original ratchet block and all those things and, uh, you know, here we are some 25 years later and the, you know, the skiff, the, the Gotta Love It 7 skiff is, you know, we use all of these little blocks all over it and they're fantastic and the Starboat, we use all these little blocks in different systems. Um, and of course now with the AC45s, uh, you know, there's running a lot of Harkin gear and winches on those as well. So, you know, there's been a long history with Harkin and, and um, all the various things that we've done. Now these are some of the new uh, T2 blocks. This is the world's first all composite block. No metal in them whatsoever. Yeah. We have uh, two different styles. We have the T2 and the T2 loop. But they're pretty nice blocks, they're light, and, you know, they're strong and, uh, you know, they don't wear the boat out and, it's, you know, I think the way sailing's gone is that, you know, there's far less bits of metal on boats, whether it be rigging or blocks or, you know, the attachments, it's a, it's a, you know, it's just a whole different part of what we do these days and, of course, it's lighter, it's more efficient, um, they work better and people don't get hurt by them, so it's just win, win, win. What size blocks uh, are you running on the 18? Oh uh, look, the, the 18, probably the high load blocks are, you know, this sort of size. Um, and then, you know, a lot of the control lines are the, you know, things like the 18s or, you know, some of these micro blocks and pieces. So, you know, it just really depends what they do. Um, you know, the range of the big cleats and the little cleats, you know, depending on how many block and tackle, but the high loads are obviously the, you know, the old girls. Oh sure. Uh, do you use uh, the the switchable ratchets or the ratchetmatics on board? We we tend to use the ratchetmatics. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I think in a lot of the high performance boats, um, you know, the, the loads are pretty high even in light breezes, so they tend to, you know, they like to have the ratchet for the upwind load or the other load, and then the free wheel the other way. So, um, you know, the ratchetmatics are a pretty nice thing really. So Ian, you've been involved in the America's Cup for uh, quite some time now and, and know Peter and Olaf Harkin for a long, long time. Uh, can you give me a little background on your uh, involvement with the Cup and with Harkin and the Cup? Well, you know, my involvement started way before the Cup. You know, as I said, it started back, you know, with Colour 7, the, you know, which is the forerunner to the skiff back in 1977, you know. We, we won uh, six world championships in a row with Harkin equipped. 18 foot skiff, 77 to 82, and you know, the relationship's just gone on through that, and Etchells, and Ocean Racing, America's Cup, and lots and lots of different boats, and you know, here we are again today, you know, we've done, you know, we're just about to start building our 15th AC45 that's, you know, loaded with Hark and gear, and bits and pieces, and of course the bigger teams are now starting to build the AC-72s and you know and we know they're going to be really hard to sail so they're going to need lots of blocks, lots of winches, um, you know probably eight pedestals, um, I mean eight people on pedestals at any one time you know because the loads are enormous and um, you know all this efficiency of blocks and tackles and systems and furling gears and you know it's, uh, it's you know there's going to be a lot of hark in there. That's great, thank you very much. You're welcome.